Check out these two videos and see if you can spot the major differences between these two. The video on the left is from Instagram and is made by this creator right here. This video actually has over 121 million views in this person's Instagram account. And of course, we can follow their funnel and click on their links right here to see how they are actually making money with videos just like this. And this is my video that I generated in about five minutes using this automation I built inside of Airtable that runs this N8N workflow to generate all my content for me automatically. The video Videos that get generated here then get sent to another automation that get automatically uploaded to one of my YouTube Shorts accounts. So I recorded myself making this video to demonstrate the entire automation and how it works and how you can actually create videos just like this to monetize a YouTube channel or post to Instagram or TikTok and start making money with your AI generated content very quickly. If you like this video and want me to record a full step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build this automation from scratch, building out the Airtable base and the N8N scenario, drop a comment on this video saying you would like this full tutorial. In the meantime, you can grab these automation templates by joining my school community. I have the link in the description. Once you join the community, you'll have access to all of my automation templates, workflows, all my available resources, AI prompts, agent system messages, and all the cool stuff I've got going on over there. So right now, if you join for the annual price, it ends up being about $8.25 per month to join my school community, and you'll have all of these templates available to download for free. So let's jump into the demo. All right, let's get right into this demo. This automation is run as most of my automations are inside of an Airtable base. And this Airtable base is going to be triggering this NAN workflow to generate all of the scenes and the clips for the content to create this video. And then finally assemble the video in this last chain down here. So I'll run you through this as we are moving along. I'm going to create a new project. I have a couple ways that we can create new videos. We can use reference images, drop in some images here and let the automation run based on those reference images. We can also use text prompts and we can create these prompt writers to craft beautiful prompts that will actually turn out amazing text prompts for the AI image gen. I think for this demo, I'm gonna use the reference images workflow and drop in some references here. I wanna demonstrate how to make a viral video that you can actually monetize using this automation. By the way, if you want to see how I find all of the best niches and learn how to make viral video content, you can click on this link in the description of this video and join the Creator Secrets School community. I want to choose one of the premium niches here and let's just go with the consumer niche here. In each of these niches, you can come to the examples and find some example accounts that actually make money with their AI generated content. So I'm going to click on this. There's only one example here and this is the creator. You can see that I've got 2.9 million followers. Let's just check out some of the videos. I'll come into the reels on Instagram and right away, this one right here, 121 million views on this video. That's probably going to be the one I want to go with, but you can see all of this weird consumer stuff, right? Fruit recliners, fruit staircases. I think I'm going to stick with this first pin video. Let's just take a look at it. I'll click on it. And what I'm going to do is actually take some screenshots of this actual video to use as reference images. So let me just get in the rhythm here. I'll start taking screenshots as they go by to use as references. Now it's important to note that while we are trying to mimic this style video and recreate this AI content so that we can monetize in a similar way. We can't use these same exact images. So we're going to create some images that are fairly similar and see how we do. Best content strategy is to find a formula that works. For example, this video right here definitely works and follow that formula. I've got those reference photos. I'm going to come back into Airtable and let's go ahead and create a new project here. So I'm going to click the plus 
us. We can call this one secret pet beds under the bed or something like that. This is going to be for short form video. So I'm going to choose a video orientation of portrait and I can drop in all of those reference photos into this field in Airtable. Let me just go grab them. We'll drop them into this field and let them load up. Now in the auto settings field here, we can choose to set this to manual, meaning we have full manual control over all of the image prompts, all of the image generation, when those images actually get generated, video generation, all that stuff. Or we can set this setting to full auto or semi auto and have the generations start immediately without input from us. You can create a full video by setting this to full auto. Click the start button here and let this video generate. But what we're going to do for this demo, I'm going to set it to manual and we can hit start. Now this is going to run this any end scenario. We're going to run down this first chain right here to generate prompts. You probably can't see this route right here. We're going to generate these prompts. This chain is analyzing those reference photos and actually generating brand new text to image prompts. We're going to drop into flux in the next step. So I'm going to jump back into Airtable. We're done with the prompt generation. So I'm going to come into the generation tab. This is the next step in the workflow. And you can see I've got some of these sample projects I was working in here before. But here we have our secret pet beds under bed video project with those five new text to image prompts. Cool. So you can click into these fields and double check these prompts, change anything you don't like, add things you want to see. For example, I could probably just take out this last line here just to demonstrate we have full control over editing these text prompts. But all in all, this came out pretty good as is. I don't want to change much from the text prompt. Let's exit out of this window. And since we're set to manual generation, we'll have the manual control over when we generate the images here. If this was set to auto, all of these images would already be generating. All of the videos would start generating and everything would just keep going and running on its own. But we have full control to change these prompts. So I'm going to go ahead and click on choose action here for this row. I'm going to now generate the image that'll pop up in here. So what this one is doing is running down this N8N chain and we're calling to Flux Pro Ultra. This is going to create the images, download the images and drop them back into Airtable. So that image is generating. We can take a look at the other prompts here. I think these are going to be pretty good as they are. I'll just double check the other three. I don't think I really need to. Okay, looks like we got our first image back from Flux. Let's take a look. Pretty simple, but we have our built in dog beds underneath the bed. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and generate the rest of the images. I'll set this to generate images, then drag down this little toggle to input all of the fields here. And we'll wait for those images to come back. All right, we got our images back from Flux. Looks like these came up pretty good. I'm curious about this one. Let's take a look. That's pretty funny. So all of these just at a glance at these thumbnails. Let's take a look. Yeah, pretty good. Got these cute dogs in the dog pods. This one looks interesting and modern with some lighting going on. Dog pods in front of the bed here. This one didn't come out so great. Let's see if we can tune up the prompt a little bit and see what's going on here. So the main subject is the elegant bed showcasing a soft gray upholstered frame that has round edges. Walls are painted in a subtle calming shade of gray let's say a just to switch it up a medium dark calming shade of gray while wooden floors add a touch of warmth and texture to the space let's leave it at that i want to say more about the dog pods here let's say ambient lighting illuminating two dog pods it's great let's see what happens when we get that one i'll just delete this image here select choose action and generate a new image and that one came back already let's take a look there we go almost not quite believable bed here with those dog pods taking up that space let's try to delete it and just generate it one more time. I'm using a pay as you go structure inside of the API I'm using to call to Flux. So it's very cheap to access Flux and generate these images based on the pay as you go structure. All right, let's see what we get popping in here. And that is pretty good. This dog actually gets the top of the bed. Looks like this is climate controlled and everything. Let's use these images here. That looks pretty good. And we're going to generate the videos now. What we can do for the next step here is set Set the video presets. Now we have a prompt preset tab over here. You can load this up with all kinds of video and image presets if you want to do the text generation process. But for example, I could add in a new camera motion here. I'll call this camera zoom out. 
we'll say this is a video style and now I can add in a camera motion here. So I'll say very subtle camera pan out. Just like that, we can add all kinds of prompt presets in here. So I'm gonna jump back into the generation table and find these presets. So for this one, let's go ahead and just add that new prompt camera zoom out. I'll add that one for this one. Let's do a camera pan to the left. Great. This one looks pretty interesting from above. Let's do camera crane lift. This one we will do crane lift and we could add multiple styles in here. So we'll crane lift and a camera zoom. And for this one, let's look at the side of the bed. So we'll do camera pan right now. Again, these are video prompts for the actual video model. You can play with these and figure out what prompts work best for whatever model you decide to use when I choose the action here and generate the video. I'll go ahead and just generate all of these videos. This is going to trigger this chain in the N8N workflow here. This is making a call to Minimax. Minimax will create animated videos using those video prompt presets we put in there. You could prompt the model however you want to do those video animations the way that you like. I'm just prompting with some simple camera motion here for this particular model. So this generation takes quite a bit Bit longer to generate those videos. So we'll come back into Airtable and wait for these videos to pop in here. All right, I finally got my videos back. Let's just go ahead and preview. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, really excellent animation. Cameras panning around like it's a cell phone. Really good. Let's preview a couple more. Pretty good. We've got those motions on the camera. This one is panning to the right. Oh, nice. That is a nice shot. That's cool. All these videos came through here. We can move on to the next table and assemble the video. I'm going to come into the assembly table. See some of these projects I was working on here and we've got our secret pet beds under bed project right here. So now we can drag and drop music into this field. Any music you want from your computer, anything you want to drop in here as background music. If you have any music saved, you can definitely do that. I'm working with Suno to generate music programmatically in the automation. But for now, I'm going to come into my Suno account and I've got a bunch of music I've generated that I can download and just drop into those fields. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to go with this one right here. I'll go ahead and download this. I'll come back into Airtable and drag that music into the music field right there. Once that loads up, I can click assemble and get our full video back. Now we have two fields here, a combined video and a finished video. This is necessary for the make automation. So this Airtable base also runs a fully integrated make scenario that I built for this exact same purpose to generate viral faceless video content. If you want to check out this automation, you can join my school community. I have the link in the description. I have all my automation templates and these workflows available to download for free. You can download them, set them up and start generating your content. So this automation will work with make.com and N8N. On this particular example, we don't actually need this combined video field. We're going to get our finished video straight away back from N8N. So I'm going to click assemble, jumping into N8N. This is going to run down the final chain here, taking the music, all of those video clips and render everything into a finished video, then send it back over to Airtable. I'll jump back into Airtable. Shouldn't take very long. All right, here is the video. Let's check it out. I'll click play. Very nice. Very cool. I love it. So that is it, guys. That is the final product right there. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys like this demo and want to actually learn how to build this automation step by step, let me know in the comments and I will make a full step by step tutorial on how to build this automation start to finish from scratch, building out the Airtable base and building out the N8N workflow to start generating these viral videos. Again, I have the link to my school community if you want to learn AI automation and start building automations for your business or content creation. Check out the link to digital automation diagram in the description below. If you want to learn content creation and how to monetize your content, check out Creator Secrets. That is where I get all of my content ideas and really learn how to capitalize on the AI content creation side of things. I look forward to seeing you guys in my school group and I'll see you in the next video.